Distance of 6.51 meters out of Mercury, Miguel Taylor. Okay, let well, us look at the false start comments, the false start rules. Now we have something called false start where you're given one chance and anyone that twitches or jumps out the block they are taken out of the race given a red card. Now it is my view that this is spoiling the sprints. I am talking about Trinidad and Tobago. This, this will spoil any sprinter growing up under 15, under 13, 13. under 17. By the time you reach under 20, you are trained. What are you trained to do? Now in my view, the 100 meter needs an aggressive start, an aggressive coming out of the box. You cannot be a 100 meter sprinter trying to run sub 10 seconds and come out of the blocks tentatively. You must be able to perfect the art of flying out of blocks, getting those twitch muscles active, firing, bursting out of the blocks. But if when you are growing up in the sport of track and field and you are under 15 years old, and the slightest shake on the block, you are put out of the race after training for months, after making sacrifices, after getting a new uniform, and then after leaving sometime miles away, pain passage, preparing yourself with your coach and your family watching on, you make a slight twitch, and you are put out of the race, and treated like a criminal. Shame. I do you did some crime. So what do you do next time you have to start the 100 meter? Won't you come out the 100 meter as though you're starting at 800 meter? You don't want to fall start and be embarrassed. So you would come out tentatively. You will be careful. At a careful start of a 100 meter could never run a sub 11 for the females or sub 10 for the males. When you become trained, that false start rule is spoiling our sprinting. I say the only people that, that should be enforced on should be the under 20s and the men and women. People under 17, under 15, under 13 should not be penalized by one false start rule. Because you must be allowed, like other sports, to make a mistake. To twitch a little bit. To fall on your face. You could see these at least forcing not to fall. That sometimes they fall on their faces. And they are put out. Horror. After all the preparation. After all that they did to, 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 to come to run. The embarrassment. You know how scary it is to go out there in front of a crowd and stand up. You were in, 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 in lane one or lane eight. It is scary. Put yourselves in the athlete's position. You go on your mark set. Sometimes the officials tell you stand up. You are ready to go on and tell you stand up. Sometimes somebody next to you just twitches a little bit and it throws you off and you also you end up false starting. I've seen that happen many times. It happened to use in bold. The man next to him twitched. Why penalize? When a cricketer bowls and no ball, you don't put them out from, from, from playing the game. They let them play again. When a boxer hits below the belt, hits another boxer below the belt, they don't put them out of the ring and make him lose the fight. They warn him. If he does it repeatedly, then they disqualify him. In every other sport, when you're serving in lawn tennis, if the ball hits the net and goes up, they call it net or let. 
They don't stop you from playing the whole game after you prepared for it. Why do that to our athletes? It is criminal. <laughs>